What is going on guys, Apple Advanced here, today I'm going to show you guys how to download NDS for iOS back again on our iOS 9.3.5 device or lower. If you guys are going to enjoy this video, don't forget to drop that thumbs up down below. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so right now, and let's begin with today's tutorial. Now, first off, it's actually very weird how 9.3.5 was just released, and also this is an updated video to my other NDS for iOS video um, method, as there now are like two methods out there on to actually bypass what Apple has put down as you cannot install NDS for iOS straight away as you're going to need an actual glitch to bypass this. So basically what I'm saying which is very weird okay so listen is on iOS 10 betas okay by iOS 10 beta 4 you know these glitches and stuff did not work and you know you, you were probably thinking well if they release another iOS you know 9 firmware like 9.3.5 they would do the exact same by getting rid of the glitches but in fact 9.3.5 is newer than these you know betas and stuff like that yet it still has these glitches which to me is I mean a good thing but at the same time it's just questioning like why like why didn't you get rid of it I mean you're just basically making the everybody who's on the betas and stuff like that want to downgrade and it's just one of those things where I don't know why Apple did it or not and it's just one of those things again where if if they released I was 10 straight up like 10.0 is it going to have these glitches or is it just, you know, exclusive to any iOS 10 thing? Like, it just doesn't work on iOS 9, you know, stuff like that. It's just very confusing why this type of stuff doesn't work for iOS 10 betas, you know. And I just hope when iOS 10 beta gets, I mean, iOS 10 officially gets released that um, these glitches will work as I will be able to update them and show you guys you know, these awesome methods and stuff like that, you know, bypasses and glitches and all that type of stuff. But enough of my rambling, let's begin with today's video. So you want to head over to the link in the description below and I'll take you to the site right here. It's called iEmulators.com. Now basically once you're on iEmulators, it's going to say Home Apps and Help. You want to go ahead and click on the app section and scroll down from here. You want to go ahead and find a blue Nintendo DS looking logo and I'll say NDS for iOS. Click on it, click install, then a prompt should actually pop up on your phone asking you would you like to install NDS for iOS. Go ahead and click install. Now before um, I move on and click install to show you guys, I just really want to say pay attention as this is very fast depending on your internet speed. You really want to be quick with it and listen to what I say. So basically once you click install, it should say waiting, okay? And then the actual box should turn to start loading and it'll say loading on it so once that loading th that loading text right there says installing or the app just begins to download out of there really fast just out of nowhere you just want to you know take up your control center turn on airplane mode okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that really fast one more time okay I'm gonna go ahead and delete the application so I can do this one more time for you guys as it goes actually really fast and I really want you guys to really um, get this and work for you guys as um, sometimes if you cannot get it on your first try you really have to just try so go ahead and click install install okay and then they prompt should pop up on your screen asking you would you like to install NDS for iOS and go and click install then um, you want to wait for it okay this is for all those people who cannot do it fast enough and stuff like that and I just really wanted to do it two times to explain to you guys correctly so please 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 watch my do really good because there will be comments down there asking you asking me you know what what am I doing wrong it's just not working so as you can see it will begin to download like a regular app it will say loading and then um, it should just download you know regularly and you just want to wait till it gets like two-thirds of the way from actually being able to be downloaded okay so as you can see it's about to reach about halfway this time it's actually going a little bit slow I do not know why but uh, basically wait till that loading text right there turns to say installing and basically once it says installing pull up your control center turn on airplane mode go back and then it should install all the way now from here you just want to turn off airplane mode okay and then just hook it back to back to your internet or whatnot and when you click on it it'll say untrusted enterprise developer go ahead and click cancel head over to settings and then from settings you want to head over to general okay so settings general and then once you're on general you want to actually scroll down so you can find profiles advice management 
from here once you're on profiles device management you want to scroll down all the way till you find the actual enterprise app named right here like that click trust click trust again and boom you have access to nds for ios back again on our ios 9.3.5 device or lower remember guys if you enjoyed the video don't forget to drop that thumbs up down below if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do so right now this has been apple advanced and